for our little YouTube channel, which we're trying to grow, Amazon has made another delivery. Have a little open up. It should be an Insta360 Go 3. Small camera. Nice if I could undo it better, wouldn't it? the box. Insta 360 Go 3 in the UK. We could only get the 64 gigabyte version, the other one doesn't seem to be available. So opening the box. Cellophane off first. This was about 399 I think from Amazon on next day delivery so that was quite good. As I say I would have liked the 128 gigabyte version but a lot of the reviewers said that this it's just got that nice slip feel like an iPhone when you and there's the little camera which is magnetic that's the actual camera yeah. oh nicely packaged here you have some quick setup information this is not very slick well, this is the uh, cap mount that it oh, nearly dropped it, stick with little blighter. That this goes in thus, and you have a little um, clip that would go on your cap. Interesting. All right, how do you get it out? Just pull up because it's magnetic and you have the go pod which charges and acts as a camera and the go pod flicks up so you can see the screen for vlogging it all needs to be charged the little camera charges from the go pod and you have also in the box if I can get it out A little mount which is sticky I'm told there's sticky on there which is sticky which keeps sticky which um, is interesting that has got the standard camera connection then the GoPod get the magnet right around attaches to there so you can put that in all sorts of positions that you want the camera yeah then we've got the um, the necklace but again you wear around your neck underneath your clothes on top and the, and the camera sticks to there by magnets and I think what else have we got under there in here we have a USB-C charge cable something that is a bugger to get out Some more paperwork we don't like paperwork Oh, and a little wedge, I've heard about this. A little wedge that can go magnetically on the necklace. Somehow, firstly, and then the camera onto that. That is not very magnetic when that's on there. In fact, very poor. Perhaps I'm doing that wrong. Yeah, so there we go, the Insta360 Go 3, one of the early ones in the UK. Setting it up seems quite easy. We just put the little camera into the Go pod, and you can see it's charging. Switched it on with the uh, power button there. 
and it's saying please download the Insta360 app in App Store or Google Play to activate your camera. And I have downloaded it on my iPod or iPad, sorry. And I think all you do is search for the camera and it finds it and activates it. Let's see. So there's the Insta360 app which I've downloaded to my um, iPad. So let's just do it live and see what happens. Do you have an Insta360 camera? Yes. The following permissions are required to run Insta360 app. Network. Bluetooth. Let's switch them on. Album. Yep. Access to all photos. Local network. OK. And notification on the app alerts. Oh yeah, let's switch it on. Go to the app. Search for a new device. It's found it. Connect. Connecting the Bluetooth. New firmware found. Start to download. Seems very quick and easy. Connecting back to it. Confirmed connection on device. So I've confirmed that. Well, that could not have been easier so far. I haven't seen I've had to log in yet, which uh, certainly have to do with DJI products that I love. Wants to join Wi-Fi network, go for it, join it. Connecting to Wi-Fi. New firmware ready. Up well, upload the firmware to the device. Let's do that. I didn't charge this yet, so let's hope the battery's up to it. It's incredibly quick. So it's now updating 3.3, 3.9, 4.4. So this is a little bit slower. Well, this is very easy. There's her indoors, been to check out on her veggies. She said, what do you buy that for? You've got a camera. Well, I've now got another one. So this is real time upload, updating the firmware. There's a shaking little dog wondering what daddy's bought. Forty seven percent. That's interesting, the percent on the iPad and the percent on the um actual camera are different. Hmm. Well, who knows or dares to dream. It's always a scary bit when you update equipment. You often get to 98, 99% and it sits there for ages. Doing some sort of final install, I imagine, but it's often nerve wracking, especially on a drone. Or anything expensive, which this is, I suppose, 400 quid. Need to get a little bag for it now. Ninety nine percent on the actual camera. This is where it hangs there. They always do this. Seventy seven point eight percent all seventy nine percent on the iPad. Upgrade successful. Go three will automatically restart. Oh, well. 
Uh, this is the whole process, measuring the whole, pro whole process. Presuming the restart as well. English. Next. Hundred percent. Then reconnecting to the device. Activate the device. Activation. Activated. So it's now giving you a little tutorial on the camera. Photo. Video. Give me a little uh, tutorial, which I won't bother the video, but there we are, seem to be activated. No clicks available, obviously, because I haven't videoed anything yet. So there we have, the Insta360 uh, Go 3 in the UK, the 64 gigabyte version. Hopefully that'll be enough. Well, you can sit here. So I just did a little bit of quick test record. There we go. So I did a quick test uh, recording and it instantly worked absolutely perfect. Transferred across to my iPad in no times. I don't know how to use the app. I've not used it yet, but we've got export button so we could export that immediately to various social media platforms, YouTube, the grief, that's quick. HA lack of LR files I don't know what that means so we won't worry about that oh well that apps for another day but that was very quick incredibly easy to set up and there's a quick size comparison though so that's what I normally film on which is DJI Osmo uh, action 3 which is I love I've got two of those there's the uh, little pod the go pod and there's the camera itself so very small indeed yeah, admittedly the uh, Osmo Action 3 is in its wind muff, but I can't be able to take it off, so uh, thanks for watching.